It has been said that millennials tend to spend their money on experiences instead of buying stuff. I, however, get most of my most memorable experiences from the model airplanes that I build and buy. Most model enthusiasts will only do one or two types of model airplanes, but I do several. I just enjoy the challenges of the different types of model airplanes. Recently, I've been building a lot of free flight model airplanes, but I decided that I wanted to build another RC sailplane. I had heard of this new type of two meter sailplane, F3 Res, that weighed about half what an old sailplane such as a gentle lady weighed. Part of the reason is that there is radio control equipment much smaller now, the servos and receiver and batteries, and that's a lot of the weight. But uh, the other part of it is the better design of the sailplane and using carbon fiber for strength. The Monarch Ascension Kit is a well-designed kit, but attention to detail is needed in the construction. I spent a good deal of time looking at the instruction booklet, the plans, and the parts that I had, and tried to think out ahead just how things would go together. I suggest that you use the radio equipment very close to what is shown in the plans because it's a very tight fit. Very nice laser cut wood is included and the wood is what is needed for a particular part of the construction like light wood for the wing ribs and heavier stiffer wood for the stabilizer. It's all optimized for what is needed. The kit makes use of jigs for construction and some of the parts are really pretty delicate and especially the wing ribs but you can see they interlock in a very nice manner so you have a great fit. Here you see the wing jig being used to curve the bottom sheeting tightly to the bottom of the airfoil. I had started with the fuselage and then at a certain point you need to have the wing constructed to finish the fuselage. The small parts were packaged in tiny little bags within little bags so you didn't lose them. Fitting the rear wing hole downs to the fuselage was a little more difficult for me. I used masking tape quite often in holding parts together when gluing. There's a fair amount of work in creating the nose hatch and the nose block. Construction done, now I cover it with ultra coat white. With the construction done, I took the sailplane out for some hand glides. I started out really gentle in my launches and then worked up to harder throws. It seemed to, to control real well and was pretty close to tri trim, but it seemed it was just a little bit twitchy and I had the CG just slightly behind where it shows in the plans. I added just a small amount of lead to the nose and the next day I took it out for some high start launches. This was early in the morning before the the wind came up and there really wasn't any thermals to speak of but I got a good idea what the glide was like. One note in the radio installation that I found out you have to use Elevon setup and not V-tail to get the proper control. The V-tail is for an aileron type of sailplane. For the airborne battery I used a two cell lithium battery and a regulator. Uh, the plan specify 800 milliamps and I had got an 850 milliamp battery and it was just a little bit too wide. Thank you Don and Joe of DJ Aerotech for this wonderful kit.